ever find yourself in a situation where you really have to scream, but you can't? Well, Scream Body is a portable space for screaming. Scream Body acts as a surrogate lung. It holds a user's screams so that their own body does not have to. When a user screams into Scream Body, their scream is silenced. But it is also recorded for later release. The main body of Scream Body is constructed of open cell polyurethane foam with a latex barrier around that. These two together act to absorb and contain the sound of the screen. On the outside there are two conductive switches, one for recording on the top and one for playing back on the bottom. They're made of two layers of copper separated by an insulating layer of rubber with holes cut into it. As the squeeze switch is squeezed, the layers of copper will come in contact and the switch will be closed. I will play back a scream for you. Essentially, how it works is very similar to a barcode scanner that you'd see in the supermarket. When you break the beam with your hand, the sensor on the floor sees the reflected light pulse and uh, uses that to work out which beam has been broken because it's actually the same beam but moving really, really fast. So these 10 lasers are actually the same laser and by working out the time of when the pulse is, you can work out which beam has been broken. So play different notes. My name is Paul and I'm one of the creators of these uh, cupcake cars here. Myself and my wife Claudine and uh, Greg and Lisa were sitting around at dinner one night and trying to figure out what to build. Lisa's crazy about muffins so we came up with a way to build little cars shaped like muffin cars. This is kind of what we ended up with. We fold sheet steel and uh, we use scooter motors and they're all powered by electricity. So this one is powered by two little uh, electric scooter motors. It goes about 10 or 12 miles an hour and uh, we get about 10 or 12 miles range out of it. I've been a geek all my life and I've made uh, you know all sorts of things uh, tinkering uh, at home and playing with electronics and in particular microcontrollers and um, I was uh, out in public as many people are and noticed that TVs are popping up everywhere you go and since I'm a geek, I thought up an idea to turn them all off. And that's why I came up with TV Be Gone, which is a universal remote control that turns off any TV in a public place. And the way it works is it has one button instead of other remote controls, which have all those extraneous buttons that you don't really need. I just left the off button. So when you push the button, it, uh, puts out the off code one right after the other for every brand of TV, just about every brand of TV in the world. One right after the other and uh, eventually the TV in front of you will turn off. And uh, you put it together and it looks like this. And it can turn off TVs in public places from 40 or 50 yards away. And uh, so I put it together in a hat. I thought it'd be fun to put it in a hat. Here's my make hat and just sort of cover the circuit in some black uh, heat shrink tubing to make it more stealth. Here's the battery and the activator button. And so all you have to do is wear the hat and look at a TV, press the activator button, and it says the word off in every TV language and the one in front of you will turn off. Here we are at my favorite Irish pub where people really should be talking rather than watching television.
And that's all I have to say about my homemade invention, TV Be Gone. Major funding for Make is provided by Geek Squad.